How are you doing? I believe you are fine by God's grace. Kindly forgive me as I would go beyond the usual two minutes today. The text, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 21. Folly brings joy to one who has no sense, but whoever has understanding keeps a straight course. Almost 25 years ago, an incident happened that I could never forget. I was in my naughty element as a boy. One chilly evening, my brother Nick and I decided to spill water on people and make a run for it. That wasn't our first time of doing that. It was something we did from time to time. So, after we had taken dinner, we stepped out to embark on our childhood menace escapade. We targeted food joints where the eatery was made of wood with spaces between one wood and another in a vertical alignment as a kiosk or wooden fence. One you could see through like a wooden lattice so that you could see the people eating their dinner through the wood. We took with us water, water tied in a transparent rubber bag, what we called in Ghana in those days, ice water bags, pinning de pinning. I would punch a hole in the corner of the water bag and press it through the lattice, spilling the water on those who were busily enjoying their meal. As soon as the water would touch them, we would run and laugh it out loud as our victims became wet and embarrassed at the food joints. This went on a couple of times until that fateful night became my night of terror. After spilling the water on a gentleman and running with neck in laughter, thinking we had escaped the danger zone as usual, I heard a heavy slap on my cheek from the back. It was a three-in-one slap. In fact, that slap was a trinity combination. It was the first and the last time I remember ever being slapped by anyone. My victim, who was busily eating kenke, left his food and chased after me until he caught me and gave me that dirty slap of my life. Only Nick knew this. And he was a witness. As we could not tell our parents or older siblings because we knew we were in the wrong. What am I trying to say? I was rejoicing and celebrating over the harm that I had caused others. I had no sense. So while I was hurting others, I was happy until that slap sends my brains back to factory settings. The politician, the technocrat, and those civil servants who connive to steal the money meant for our roads and development projects rejoice of their success because they know they won't be caught. Those corrupt work colleagues of yours, they rejoice when they steal from the company. People made merry and laughed when the head of John the Baptist was cut off. But you see, you must keep your head straight. You must keep your way straight and be righteous in all your ways, knowing that the Lord is more than able to bless the honest work of your hands, and he is more than able to make you prosper. Remember this, and take no pleasure in causing harm to others. The shalom of Yahweh be upon you.